the events section will allow people to be able to create their events to be able to invite other people to join that events they can set how many people they want to come on that event how you know where it's going to be how long it's going to be so this is another very important feature of your community so you want to make sure that you go through each setting and put those according to you know what people need uh, event creations if you notice for example that you, your site is growing and you know people are posting a lot of events you want to change the limits from 300 to something more so that allows for more people to be able to create their events and this allowed to export iCal this is another component that it can be able to export it to um, and as, as I mentioned before later on I am going to be doing you know a second part to this whole course this course real is just to get you to understand and to get your stuff set up so you can start you know start building your network and later on I create subsequent courses to teach how to enhance it so uh, for the nearby search the five mile radius now you want to be able to set within the distance where someone can be able to you know see where the event is so when they're you know they're searching this allows them you know to be able to search within whatever number you set here so if you set it to five you know 10 20 30 for now you can live with it you know at five and then the other week starts you want it to be Monday or Sunday and then for the event list format you know this mm for month and month and day or day and month and of course you want to live within you know the 12 hour period do you want to show the time zone you can click yes or no and the time zone is just pretty much just going to show where that particular event is what time zone is in so for now I'm just going to lift at it you know no so next we'll take a look at the layout